Man, what up, though, y'all? How y'all doing? You know, man, I'm about tired of this. This whole we attack. We attack people before we listen. We attack the messenger without hearing the message. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the times, valuable information that I've been able to obtain in my life, it didn't always come from people I like. And it didn't always come across in polite manners. But nonetheless, the information was needed and it was valuable and I was able to utilize it no matter how I got it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem with life, especially with us black people. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is not about how we feel. It's really not. And a lot of the times how we feel will stop us from progressing. You know, this guy, Jason Whitlock, He made the statements he made. I didn't agree with everything he said, but in that pile of shit, it was one thing. His initial point was right on. The baby mama culture is not good for the kids. And that is not blaming women. It's not blaming men. It's blaming everybody. Everybody. Women have an unbridled control over how young men, young males are raised is basically causing a, a whole culture of bitches with penises. And we see how they acting and we see what they doing. And a woman's emotions, a man is not strong enough to deal with a woman's emotions. But these boys are being raised to have woman emotions and react like a female. These little boys feel one way, they jump right off the deep end. And everybody got mad at Jason Whitlock for what he said, and then to find out that the police chief hid a sex crime, allegedly, and that's why she in Memphis. And then to also find out all of this shit was over a female? So, our, 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 I mean, Again, I'm not blaming nobody, but we can't keep negating everybody's role in these situations. You telling me the girlfriend that they was fighting over didn't know this guy was crazy? She didn't warn the other dude? She didn't call his superiors? Was this his first level of stalking? Was just to kill the other guy? Did it start there? I mean, it's a whole lot of questions. It's a whole lot of things that could have happened to save this young man's life. But when you take men out of control of other men, then why would you respect authority that you can roll over? And this is what's so toxic about the black woman supporting the black man being taken out of the family. Because once they get you to go against your male support, your male protection, then what do you have? You have nothing. And that's what's going on here. You know, I've... I've been in the workforce dedicated for about seven years now, seven or eight years now. I um, I started in the machine shop. It was no females in there. Then it was over to Pepsi. It was no female management that I dealt with. And now I'm into UP. Now I'm into the job I have now. And my experience with female management is. Quite frankly, it's some of the worst shit I ever had to deal with. And it's not that I have a problem with it. It's that when you manage by somebody that despises you, how is that supposed to work? And attitude reflect leadership. And then not only that, when you manage by a man, you dealing with him, his character. When you led by a woman, you dealing with her character, her feelings, and who she decided to be today. None of them things have a place in certain situations. It just doesn't. Especially, especially when the males involved are already out of wild. And let's be clear, these cops is are they crazy. They crazy, they out of line, and I'm gonna keep it a I'm gonna keep it a bean pie with y'all. 
Wano tried to be a cop before. Word. When I first went legit, the first couple of jobs I had when I went legit was all bullshit. For real, for real. I ended up running through all the money I had put to the side and everything. So I went and got my truck driver's license. And while I'm out on the road, it just wasn't the job for me. You know what I'm saying? To be gone from my son to bring home six, seven hundred dollars a week wasn't good enough. So while I'm in the back of that truck, I'm truck, I'm filling out job applications and something just dawned on me about the police. So I filled out the application for the police. Now mind you, even though I just got out the streets or whatever, I don't have no felonies. Shit, I don't I didn't even have no misdemeanors. They turned Wano down to be a police officer straight turn me down and now i see the mentality of police i see exactly why they turn me down i had to beat the shit out of one of them cops so they would have had to kill both of us just as a man how do you stand there and watch that and these cops are obviously it's obviously get along go along because you can't tell me you a good cop and you sitting there watching somebody do that that's just like at my job. I can't tell you I'm good at my job and I'm watching somebody else not do it, not do his job, making us all look bad. Or I'm watching somebody else violate. Now, it may not be on me to snitch on that person, but I'm damn sure gonna deal with it. Like, yo, bro, you fucking off all of us with this here. But that's what a man do. But if you ain't never seen a man in action or every time you see a man in action, some woman is jumping in front of you, in front of him, discount what it is he's saying and please believe me man ain't no women inside men's prison so while you out here taking advice from a woman about how to be a man you probably headed there you probably you probably headed there especially if you're taking advice from a woman about how to be a man and she's a woman who don't respect and or listen to the men in her life then what she damn i, I mean come on now and this whole, the whole baby mama culture, it wasn't like black women woke up one day and decided I don't want a man in the house. This is some shit they've been subjected to. This has been going on since my granddad, my mother's father was drug off to that war right after high school in the late 60s. You know what I'm saying? And when he got over there, they hooked him on the number one heroin. The good shit that he could never find when he got back home. You know what? I'm on man business while I'm kicking it with y'all. We about to work out renting out this house real quick. And we gonna finish getting back into this topic or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is some malarkey right here. You know, I'm helping these women out and they still so untrustworthy, untrusting. Why is that? Most of the times you got fucked over is cause you had larceny in your heart. Not just cause people are bad people. Motherfuckers can smell the larceny in your heart and they use that to get over on you. But that don't make them bad. It mean you was trying to get over and you left yourself open to be got down on. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm gonna get back with y'all one second.